My name is Chantal Wafer. I grew up in Quebec and I live in Calgary right now. And I really ask you to pay attention to our stories. We are not here because we are proud of that. We are here because we regret what we have done. So open your ears to, to hear the stories of women who have suffered. Today, I still cry. Every time I think about that moment, 30 years ago this month, I cry over the innocent life that I killed inside of me. It's a life, a human being, right from the moment of the conception. There's a heart beating inside of us, inside of me as a mother, as a woman. And we have to share our story. We have to speak to make it stop. We are a voice for the, for the voiceless. Too many lives are killed selflessly with ignorance. Too many children are conceived, not wanted and rejected. And I want to be that voice. Psalm 139, 13, 16 says, It was you who created, created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I'll praise you because I've been remarkably and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know this very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret and formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. It's almost a cry and a word from children from a child who is killed. 30 years ago, I was just finishing college. I met a young man. My relationship with him was serious, not him. And I became pregnant. I found myself alone. I didn't know where to go. If there's someone here on that road, please listen. You're not alone and don't take that road. There's people here to help, to listen to you. We are choosing today to say that because we don't want to be silent anymore. If you're on that road thinking about abortion, turn around, talk to someone. If you're here today because you did it, don't stay alone. Don't stay in depression. Don't stay there. In my early 20s, I had this uh, adventure and became pregnant. I was young, I didn't know where to go. I had nobody to tell me what I was passing through. Only one woman on the farm where I was told me, Chantal, this is nothing, this is not life. Only tissues, just give this soul back to the universe. And I went to the river, I cried so much. I, I was not able to see myself alone with a child. And I love children. I come from a family with nine children. So I said to the young man, my decision to get an abortion. And at that moment, he said, oh, I'm gonna go with you. We went there together, and I will never forget this moment of pain, emptiness when I came out of the room. And I said to the young man, I say, this is my fault, this is my total responsibility, I forgive you. But I was saying to myself, I hate myself. And it didn't take long that this depression came over me. It didn't take long that I felt the emptiness, guilt, shame. And, and, then, and then after that, the young man said, okay, we're gonna go and visit people to, to try to lift me up. It didn't work. That night I went to visit some people and I had nightmares of death, blood all over me all over the room and I cried and I cried and I cried. Until the day I became Christian and the Lord Jesus Christ healed me, brought me redemption. Until the day I was here for 13 years ago and heard for the first time of silence no more and I, I discovered that I was not alone in that. That I had to speak out the truth to say children and kids and i pray today that for every child in the world thousands millions of them that at least one of us will stand to be a voice god bless you